In the last video, we decided that Patricia's qualification process should be built on a horizontal board structure. Let's build it together. This time, we'll start a board from scratch so we can build the structure ourselves. Before we create the board, let's choose the board type. We can create a main board that is visible to anyone who's a team member in the account. A private board that is private for the person who creates the board or anyone they invite to join. Shareable boards are used when you want to share a board with people outside your team or company, such as clients, interns, or freelancers. For now, let's create a main board. When we add a board from scratch, we start with a couple of groups and items and just the three main column types. Let's start customizing the board. First, we know this is going to be a horizontal board, so the steps in Patricia's qualification process are going to run from left to right. We will use the groups to show the standing of the applicants. They will start in the top group while they are going through the qualification flow. So let's rename this group to B, In Process Applicants. Once an applicant qualifies for one of the intergalactic space trips, after passing through all the steps, they will move to be in the second group, which we will call Qualified Applicants. If at any step they don't qualify, they will move to the Disqualified Applicant group, which we will add here. Moving on to the columns, which will be the steps in the process. Remember the key questions where we define the steps in Patricia's process and the information which she needs to collect at each stage? That's going to be helpful for determining which columns we need on our board. Let's add some names of applicants who are entering the qualification process. We can fill in some data in the columns representing each step to show how the board will look once Patricia starts working with it. After I've interviewed the applicants, I decide if they should move on to the next step or not. This status column will record the outcome of the interview. And this date column will allow me to keep on top of when all of the interviews will take place. If the applicant passes the interview, they move to the physical evaluation. Another status column will show the result. We hired a few different doctors for this, so having a people column is going to be a good way to assign which doctor will carry out the evaluation for each applicant. If the doctors approve, they will sign a certificate. A file column will allow us to upload all those and keep everything together. If they pass, then the next step requires someone from our wellness team to conduct a wellness review. And if the applicant passes, the professional will also provide a certificate of approval. If the applicant passes the wellness review, he then enters the lottery. Let's add another status column to show what the result is. I'll edit the labels to show each outcome in a different color. That's all the columns we need for our steps, but I also think it would be good to record when each applicant enters the qualification process. Let's open the column center to see all of the available columns to choose from. The creation log column automatically records the date that an item is created in the board, so that will work. Now we have the basic structure for our application qualification board. In the next videos, We'll learn how to improve the board and workflow using some more advanced features. But first, you guessed it, time to practice what you've learned.